Belur Mat, the Tirtha of Tirthas for all spiritual seekers. Belur Mat, the ultimate answer to all religious queries and all religious unrest. Belur Mat, the worldwide headquarters of the Ramakrishna Mat and Mission. Belur Mat, the architectural manifestation of Swami Vivekananda's dream of having a permanent abode for his master, Sri Ramakrishna. The Ramakrishna order represents a new pattern in monastic life. Ramakrishna mission is run and maintained by sannyasins who have given up worldly life to dedicate themselves in the pursuit of self-realization while serving humanity. The motto of the Ramakrishna Mutt and Mission is for one's own salvation and for the welfare of the world. It is in this spirit that sadhus of the Ramakrishna order dedicate their entire life. The main temple dedicated to Sri Ramakrishna is the center of spiritual activity for the monks of the Ramakrishna mission and also for the countless devotees of Sri Ramakrishna. This is the Sanctum Sanctorum or Garbha Mandir of Sri Ramakrishna. The pedestal and canopy is designed by renowned artist Nandalal Bose. The Garbha Mandir is serene and austere, devoid of any ornate decoration befitting the ideal of Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna's Tithi Puja or birthday celebration is the main festival of Velur Mat. Kashipur Garden House, the genesis of Ramakrishna mission was laid by him. After the Mahasamadhi of Sri Ramakrishna, a new monastic order in the name of Ramakrishna took birth. <laughs> To the north of the temple stands the courtyard. During early days of Belur Mat, this was the main Mat complex. There are five main buildings around this courtyard. On the northern side of the courtyard stands the old shrine of Sri Ramakrishna. It was the first permanent abode for Sri Ramakrishna, a long-cherished dream of Swami Vivekananda. From 1899 to 1938, Sri Ramakrishna was worshipped here. To the eastern side of the courtyard is a famous mango tree. Swamiji was very fond of this tree. It was under this tree that Swamiji used to conduct classes and meet brother monks and other disciples. Swami Vivekananda's room is in the top southeast corner. Swamiji lived here from 1898. Swamiji left his mortal frame on 4th of July 1902 in this very room. Items used by him 
are preserved here. From Swamiji's room, a road towards the south, parallel to Sri Ramakrishna Temple, leads to Swami Brahmananda Ji Temple. Swami Brahmananda was the spiritual son of Sri Ramakrishna and the first president of Ramakrishna Mission. He was the spiritual dynamo of Ramakrishna Mission. His mortal body was cremated here. Sri Ramakrishna had identified Rakhal Maharaj, a childhood companion of Sri Krishna. An image of child Krishna is placed in front of the statue. Holy celebration by the monks is a colorful attraction of Velur Mat. This is Holy Mother Sri Sharda Devi's temple. Sri Sharda Devi is the spiritual consort of Sri Ramakrishna. She said, Sri Ramakrishna left me behind to manifest the motherhood of God to the world. I can't contain myself when one draws near me and calls me mother. After Holy Mother's Mahasamadhi, her mortal remains were consigned to flames at this very spot. When her last rites were taking place, Swami Sharda Ji remarked, Sati's body got scattered in 51 different places, creating 51 Shakti Peethas. But here in Belur Mat, the whole body of the Divine Mother is being cremated. It has become a veritable Maha Shakti Peeth. Just few yards south of the Devadar trees stands Swami Vivekananda's temple. Three days before attaining Mahasamadhi, he pointed to this spot near the Vilva tree and told his brother monk Premanandaji, When I give up this body, cremate it there. The temple stands on the spot where Swamiji's mortal remains were cremated. Last May 1897, Swami Vivekananda founded Ramakrishna Mission at Kolkata. It became the organ for fulfilling Sri Ramakrishna's word, Shivogyani Jiva Seva. He wrote, They alone live who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. South of Swamiji's temple is the Punyashmoshan Bhumi, cremation ground for the monks of Belur Mat. From 1909, the sadhus are cremated here. To the west of Samadhi Ghat is Sangha Guru's residence. In the Ramakrishna tradition, Sangha Gurus are regarded as living Sri Ramakrishna. Lord Shiva is the traditional Ishta Devata of sannyasis. As the Ramakrishna order is an organization of sannyasis, Shivratri is celebrated with much fervor. <laughs> Na 
Swami Vivekananda once stated, with Holy Mother as the center of inspiration, a mutt is to be established on the eastern bank of the Ganga. As Brahmacharins and Sadhus will be trained in Belur Mutt, so in the other Mutt also, Brahmacharins and Sadhvis will be trained. In 1954, on the birth centenary year of Holy Mother, Tarda Mutt came into existence at Dakshineshwar. Opposite to the headquarter building stands the Ramakrishna Museum. This museum is unique in its kind. The outer walls of the museum are adorned with murals depicting scenes from ancient Vedic times to the present day. Inside the museum, the first and second floors have illustrations on the life of Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Sri Sharda Devi and Swami Vivekananda as well as disciples of Sri Ramakrishna. One of the unique features of the museum is that rooms and surroundings in which these holy people lived have been recreated. The replication of the holy atmosphere is further augmented by the display of personal articles used by these people. Just as a nation cannot be fully understood without reading its literature and experiencing its cultural festivals, to know Ramakrishna mission one should know about the various festivals organized here. Durga Puja is the second major festival in Belur Mat. The worship of Devi Durga as per traditional rituals have made Durga Puja and Belur Mat synonymous. Kumari Puja is the highlight of Belur Mat Durga Puja. On Maha Ashtami morning, a young girl of six to seven years is worshipped as the living goddess with all splendor. This special worship attracts the largest crowd of devotion. Dashami rings in the departure of Devi Durga. Belur Mutt has indeed become a spiritual center of importance which attracts hundreds of people every day. Swamiji's prophetic words are indeed coming true. The blazing light of universal harmony that will emanate from here will flood the whole world. All true seekers of spirituality will in course of time assemble here.